10 area school districts in our area will be asking taxpayers in just a couple of months for collectively about $80 million, and that includes $10 million in De Pere. Last year, that district said it wanted to avoid referendums and stick to private fundraising instead for projects. So why the change? Well, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has our balanced coverage. Heritage Elementary Principal Kathy Van Pay says her building's entrance needs a safety upgrade. We still have an issue with our building entrance where our office is located over here, not, not necessarily with our entry. That security improvement is part of a multi-million dollar unified school district of De Pere referendum. Voters will be asked two questions at the polls. The first, allowing $7 million to be spent on maintenance to various buildings. The second, $3.1 million for high school athletic stadium upgrades. We still have a few more things that need to be done, including um, stands, building concession stands. For last year's athletic field upgrades, De Pere went to the community for private donations. So we asked the superintendent, why go to a referendum for this year's athletic field upgrades? You wanted to raise those funds yes. privately. <clears throat> what has changed in that year? Well, we still do. Um, but we made a good faith effort, and through a lot of hard work, we raised $2.5 million. The universe for De Pere is small, but people gave, and they gave generously. Out of that $2.5 million, 95000 came from just one night, the Diamonds and Denim fundraising event. We spoke with the organizer, Tricia Freeman. Freeman says those fundraising efforts will continue this year, but she says a large high school stadium project is out of reach for fundraising. I think the community will look at it, the fact that we, we made a valiant effort, we were really successful, we fell a little bit short, and we just need some help to continue to get those improvements made. If the referendum passes, a taxpayer with a $150,000 assessed home would see their tax bill go up roughly $23. In De Pere, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Now, ultimately, the voters will have the final say on this. The De Pere referendum is on the ballot for the April 7th election.